Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to new video. And today we're gonna look at my March haul. So all, so all the products that I've been trying out, testing and reviewing for the month of March. I'm gonna show you and I'm just gonna share with you what I think about them, what are my thoughts, uh, what I've discovered about these products and stuff like that. So if that's something that interests you, I would be very happy to see you here again. And if you're new here, Hi, my name is Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows. And that's gonna be the main focus of this video. So hopefully you'll stick around and let's jump right into all of these products. So I have many, many palettes and palettes, <laughs> but we're gonna start with uh, hair because I have only one product and that's the Wella, um gel spray instant volume boost and it's the medium hold uh, version it has like a blue bo uh, bottom and this is just like a, something between spray and gel it's not it's more watery than gel but it's more thicker than a spray it's good if you just want to have like a I think it's a really nice like all-in-one product if you don't like putting too much product in your hair and you just want something that's easy to use and also you can use this for dry hair if you just want to like revitalize it or something and i really like it i'm almost out actually like i've used this a lot i might even started using it last month but yeah i've, I've used this uh, a lot and i really like this and i like the vela as a as a brand i think they're really nice then from skincare I only have the CeraVe uh, like hydrating milk cleanser. I've had the full like I think it's 50 milliliter um, bottle twice or three times and uh, now I couldn't find it at the store that I was shopping when I needed this so I just got this small one because I have a uh, because I knew I'm gonna get other products that are cleansers not that uh, long afterwards so i just wanted something like smaller and i love this cerave this like um bright green version it's my favorite cleanser of all time it's just the smoothest most beautiful hydrating but very nicely cleansing product i just i really like this one and then i have one fragrance and it's the max uh fresh splash for her eau de toilette this one is the uh, like watermelon one, so it's a very fresh, watery fragrance that has like a little bit of sweetness and freshness from the watermelon. It's very, very nice. There's also a little bit of orange and jasmine in this. And I think it's just beautiful, like more summer uh, perfume. And I've been wearing it a couple times lately. It's just really nice. And it's very small. You can have it in your purse. I have it at my desk like in my office because it's just very small i don't have that much space there and whenever i just need to freshen up uh, in the middle of the work day i just use that and it's beautiful then for makeup i have the maybelland new uh, maybelland new york hyper hyper precise all day liquid liner in the shade parrot blue it's this very like electric blue neon -y eyeliner i've used this one four five times maybe and it's really nice it has very sharp and the color is very pigmented i like the product in it it's very nice it's very nice to hold it it has like a little bit of a ridge here so you can hold it very comfortably and uh, i always use it as the last step so i have a little bit of my like shimmery shadows on this but it still draws so I think so far really uh, it's really nice and I've had um, nice experiences using this. It doesn't tuck on the skin which I have, which I usually struggle with these that they like skip a lot and they like kind of either stick too much to your eyelid and they don't want to like move properly or they're too liquidy and this is like a very nice in between and actually it's like my favorite pen liner that I've ever tried so this one's great. I think I'm gonna get a lot of uses out of it in the spring and summer and then I'm probably gonna throw it away because these don't really last very long. I don't 
think this is gonna last for a long time but i wanted to try it and if if you like these products uh, definitely go for it then i have the l'oreal telescopic lift mascara the extra black one it's a very interesting wand shape for a mascara it's kind of like pinched at one side uh yeah, and the um, bristles are kind of short and they're plastic which i usually don't like plastic bristles but i wanted to try it i'm wearing it today and i think my lashes are really nice granted i haven't really tried to put too much mascara today i've just kind of like run it through really quickly because i i don't know i'm i wasn't really in the mood for a lot of mascara but i still really like how it looks today then i have the essence skin tint hydrating natural finish light to medium coverage spf 30 um bb cream this one is in the shade 20 and it's a perfect shade for me i usually struggle with bb creams and these types of products to find my shade because they're usually either white or they're orange and it's really hard to find a shade that's like warmer but still light but not completely white and this one is amazing it's exactly my shade i really love the consistency i've used this one five times or four times and i really enjoy this one and i'm gonna keep continue and i'm gonna continue using this one and i think right now it's the best complexion product that i have right now uh, i do like my maybelline fit me foundations but they're foundations and i am the kind of person that doesn't really wear anything on my face i usually just have eye makeup concealer under the eyes and then blush and highlighter if i have time so for me this is like something that i only wear maybe like once or twice a month now i've been wearing foundations or bb creams like twice a week or once a week so I'm, I'm getting more into it which usually happens in the spring and summer that i get like a little bit more into these things but yeah so far really good and i'm gonna keep using it and if i'll notice something weird i'll let you know but i really like that it has very satiny skin like finish it absorbs really well like it sets itself really well and really quickly and it doesn't look like you're wearing anything even like in my like problematic areas which is between my brows and like here under the um, uh, like on the chin I haven't really noticed any problems with this so so far I'm very happy with it and I'm de I definitely want to keep using it and then I have the Electrum Cosmetics Daydreamer palette this is a six pound palette with magnetic highlighters and they're all like multi-chrome duochrome highlighters they're all iridescent um ones so like they they're not they're not as opaque as you see in the in the pen which i like because i don't it's not that i don't like opaque highlighters but i really like for these duochromes and these like fun color ones i just really like when it looks more airy and like fairy like and it's just more proper than a full-on color if that makes sense and i love the shades here so you have like pink green orange blue purple this one that's kind of i don't know if it still shows it but it was like marble so it was like gold green and purple in it and it's kind of like um it reflects on your face as well so sometimes it looks more green sometimes more gold sometimes more purple this one is the most special one and it's called the sh it's called the dreamer and i really like that one uh i've used all the shades twice or three times so i've i've tried them quite a bit and i really like all of them some some of them can look like similar i think the shade believer and head in the clouds these two they can look kind of similar but one is more like peachy pink and the second one is more like pinky like purple and yeah i just i really like that you have like cool tone options warm tone, or warm tone options some like blues purples greens golds oranges I think it's a really well curated uh, palette with a lot of different um, colors and undertones so everybody will find something that they like and these are magnetic pens and they're like removable so you can even switch it up 
if you have some bigger either eyeshadows or blushes or something you can put it here i think the give me glow round pants are this size as well if i remember that correctly so if you have some shades that work well for you on your face you can even like switch it up and like you know do your own thing with this or if you know any like these are quite big i don't know what size this is but i think it's like 3 or 3.5 centimeters something like that it looks like it could be that so yeah if you have pen sizes like that in another palette you can like switch it up and create like a whole face palette if you if you'd like and i love the packaging it's so springy and so beautiful so that's the daydreamer and then i have the wicked widow lovesick palette that i was trying out and testing out in uh, like together with the daydreamer palette this wicked widow palette is beautiful it's my first palette from wicked widow i've wanted to try this brand for so long but you know I, there were other things happening and i didn't have time to try it but i'm really glad that i finally did i definitely want more of these smaller palettes i don't know if i'm gonna buy the big ones because the big ones are like really big and i don't like big um palettes and big color stories because i get confused but um i definitely want the halloween small one and if they're gonna um, release another of these smaller ones i'm definitely gonna get it because i really like how it is um put together i love the size and i love that it's magnetic so you can switch it up a bit if you want i really like the color selection here as well i've used this palette seven times i've used all of the shades three or four times and i'm very surprised how versatile this palette is like yes the mattes are kind of more mid-tone to pastel um but i mean it's a very small palette so i don't I'm not gonna go hold it against her but i really like the shimmers here this one is like a topper but she has a pink base and like a little bit of blue sheen this white one has goldy orangey green flip like it's a duochrome then this shade is either duochrome or multichrome it has like a brown base with very reddish flip to it and then this one is kind of like blue to purple duochrome so i really like that the shimmers kind of take it to the next level and make this palette super interesting to me and i definitely will get a lot of uses out of her i'm not the biggest pink person but i like that you can go blue or purple with this one if you want so yeah and i i definitely love using her with other palettes i've been really into that also i like the little quote and just the packaging it's so cute and it's so small and this uh these pants fit the little cosmetics formula so if you like little you can you can get this and also the unearthly shades so if you have unearthly or little singles or uh, shades you can switch it up and take it with you like for vacation this is a very small palette so you can you can have fun with it and then last three eyeshadow palettes are the three um collab collaboration palettes from odin's eye it's the legendary diversa palette i've had so much fun using these and i will continue to use them even even more because i just really like it first step first up we have the spring dragon palette uh by judy I've used this one seven times. It's a beautiful springy pastel palette. I'm not really, I don't use full pastel palettes very often. I don't really have full pastel palettes uh, either because it's just, I mean, this is my style. So like, I like something light or neon, but then the rest will be dark. Um, so I'm not the main like target audience for this palette but I really enjoyed the looks that I've created with her and once in a while, especially in the spring, I get a little bit like inspired to do all um, all pastel blah, blah, all pastel-y look um, it's just not my main style 
but I like to explore other options and I love the selection here it's a very fun and cute um the only issue this shade called flora doesn't really show on me that much I mean it is not like it's not that far from my skin tone and this one just doesn't really show so much the shade seedling is a little bit chalk chalky like it doesn't it looks like it has a pigment at the beginning but then it just kind of disappears so you definitely have to use this one with a white base which i don't have white base because every other pastel color that i have in my collection is like vibrant enough to show up on my skin tone but that's probably the only issues that i've noticed and if you have all three of these palettes some of the shades are kind of similar they're not the same i've swatched them and like they're not exactly the same but they're very similar so maybe that's another issue but mm -mm. i don't think that many people buys like the whole bundle the whole collection you you just probably picked whichever content creator you like the most or which color story suits you the most but yeah that's the only like complaints i would have but i really like the selection of colors and the packaging and i actually really like that there's something about Uden's eyes packaging that it always inspires me because like the way that they blend colors and use colors sometimes i just look at the packaging and i immediately get inspired to do something like i just it shows me what colors i could use next to each other and just i don't know it it really inspires me and i love that about Uden's eye so this one used her seven times then i have the mighty monster palette by annette oberstadt i've used this one eight times this one is my favorite of the bunch because it's just the most me i think i have the most similar style to annette like i think we do makeup very similarly lately she's been also dabbling into these neutrals which i'm not there and i don't know if i'll ever get there but apart from the neutrals i really love this palette i love the um, yellows with the like greens with the oranges with the reds with the purples i just i really love this palette i love the serpenty like scaly mermaid mermaidy colors this shade is amazing it's very similar to the one she had in the previous collection and i love that one so that's beautiful the blue one here is it's such a great shade so yeah i really like it also this palette is the most vibrant and pigmented out of all of them Mo not just the matte but also the shimmers so if you really like pigmented fun sparkly shimmers and like pigmented mattes this one is the best for that i think but also you have to like this color collection um but yeah love her i'm not gonna get a lot of uses out of these brown shades i only use them once except the shade abyss i actually used abyss multiple times because i do like to use it with the yellow and like with the red but otherwise i don't like using browns with blues or purples or these like cool tone greens that's just not my thing so I've only used this one multiple times. These two I've used just once because they're not colors that I really go for. Also, this one is like a very sticky glue-like shade. I wanted to try it all over my lid to just like let you know if it creases, but I don't want to. Like the texture, it's just so sticky. It's genuinely like if I touch it, it like sticks to my finger and I don't like that. And also I don't like shades like these, these like beigey browns. I don't mind them as neutral, as like um, matte shades, but I don't like them as shimmers. So yeah, th that's the only one. But apart from that, I, I just love this palette so, so, so much. And then a color star that I think is the most like neutral um, and like everyday is the Earthwood palette by um, Tina from Fancy Face. This color story really reminds me of the Muse palette by Cosmic Brushes because you have the like greens, purples, pinks, um, more like yellowy greens, browns. Like you have this whole thing in the Muse palette. Obviously it's not the exact same like um, 
shades but the idea is very similar so if the muse palette was too big for you you can get this one and if you like bigger color stories then get the muse palette that's just up to you but i really love the greens here like they're just stunning and i i like the purples too but just the greens are so pretty in this palette it's exactly the type of greens that i like i like these deep like foresty mossy greens with these like pistachio greens these like very yellowy greens and also i like this seafoam color so for me this is just beautiful and then the army green oh, so 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 pretty but i also like the purples again there's like neutrally shimmer and a matte shade I'm, I'm not gonna use that maybe i'm gonna use the deep matte uh, brown because i can like deepen up other shades with it but yeah the these two are not gonna get that much uses um i did use them three times but that's i don't think i'm gonna use them more it's just not what i go for but if you're also like into neutrals and into colors this will be perfect for you and again so 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 beautiful so inspiring so yeah those are all the products that i've been reviewing in the past month at the end of march i've also released the earth wizard palette by the review of the earth wizard palette by make a beauty shop which is what i'm wearing today um in conjunction with the serpent palette by makeup beauty shop but uh since i've released it like either at the the last or the second to last day of march and i'm still reviewing that one or like i'm still playing with that one uh she's gonna be in the april haul as well as my new mika singles and the nomad cosmetics uh ireland palette and we'll see if i'm gonna get something else but i don't know if i'm gonna buy any new palette this month except these two that i've uh that i finally received so yeah that's gonna be for another video i think we've had enough palettes for this month anyways so yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be good let me know uh which of these products you bought yourself or if you've wanted to buy some of them and um and you were waiting for a review about them and let me know what products were you trying in the last month and if you're already if you already switched to the spring makeup looks and spring makeup palettes and stuff like that because i definitely did even though i don't know if this look is very springy it's kind of peacocky lately i've been really into these like blue yellow green peacocky looks i think i have like four or five saved in my phone and there's like three or four on my instagram already so th there's something going on but i just really like colors and these were the colors that i was really interested in lately so let me know what you think about that as well and about this look it will be on my instagram and tiktok some sometime either before this video or after you'll be able to find it and if i'll remember i'll also link it as well as all of these products that i've been showing you so yeah that's it for me hope you have a great day and i'll be very happy to see you in the next video so bye